Righty ho, welcome to another episode. So first of all, thanks for tuning in. Last time we were here, finished off the frame, got the bench top on and put a finish on the bench top. So if you missed that, be sure to go back, have a look, let me know what you think. Uh, uh, this episode, we are going to tackle all the underbench storage. I've got some drawers going in on this side, some open shelves on that side to uh, take those little uh, organiser toolboxes and I'll have a bit of an open area in the middle as well to uh, store a few other things and bits and pieces and yeah if you're new to the channel or you haven't already remember to hit that like and subscribe button it really helps out and uh, drop a comment tell me what you think or um, yeah let me know what you guys get up to in your shed you know like obviously I do a lot of uh, woodworking and working on cars mechanical work and whatnot so yeah, I wouldn't mind hearing what you guys get up to in yours. But yeah, so let's get started on the uh, drawers. Alrighty, so on uh, the left side of the bench, I'm actually going to put a series of drawers. I'm gonna try and do like a double-sided drawer system. So I have drawers coming out on this side, drawers coming out on that side. So I've got these 300 mil soft, I didn't even realize I bought soft closed ones. Anyway, we're putting soft closed drawer runners in the uh, shed now. So I've got these drawer runners, which will obviously run on both sides. I just have to make sure I um, allow enough space behind them, but I've worked that out, so it should be right. So what I'm gonna do is actually build a box that's just gonna slide in underneath, and then I'll be able to just pretty much build everything out of there on the bench and then I'll just have to just slide the whole thing in and then just screw it into the frame. So I'm hoping that all works out fine and everything is square under there. I did check it a few times when I was building it but you never know. And I've just got some um, pull handles that I'll just install in the drawer faces. So I'm going to build this pretty much the same how I've done the rest of the drawers in the shed. Just out of yellow tongue, just going to stick with the theme. So uh, yeah, let's do it. Righto, change of plans. Instead of building a box, I'm just going to mount the runners directly to these end panels. Don't need a bottom or top. Just gonna try saving materials a bit. So that's how I'm gonna go about doing this. Righto, so I've marked out the heights that I want all these drawer spaces to be. So I've got three smaller drawers and then like a super skinny drawer at the top. And then on the other side, I've just divided it in two, so I'll have just two deep drawers. So what I'm gonna do is just gonna work out the actual drawer heights themselves. So obviously they can't be the exact heights that I've worked out all these, so they just need to be a bit less just to account for any sag in the drawer runners and the material. So I usually, I leap about, I don't know, 10, 20 mil between each drawer unit itself. And uh, yeah, so I'll just measure all that up and then I'll knock up some drawer boxes and ready to screw on the runners. Righto, so cut everything up and I did a bit of a test fit inside the opening with the runners and uh, yeah, got a little bit of a problem. It's uh, just probably like two mil too tight and I'd probably get away with this if they were normal runners but because they're soft clothes, if it's that little bit too tight, it won't pull itself in and then yeah, you got a bit of drama. So I'm gonna set up a bit of a stop block on the miter saw and I'm gonna cut that fraction off all the panels just so the runners fit in perfect. So yeah, fun times. Righto, that's done. Time to start knocking up these drawers and scratching up this bench for the first time. Let's do it. And 
and that's it. Rightio. So knocked up all these drawer boxes. So super easy to make. Uh, I might put a link in the description um, on some other videos that I've done where I've sort of gone through what I've done here. But essentially, it's just a box um, that's a little bit smaller than the actual opening of where you want the drawers to fit. So. Next, I'm going to uh, screw up the runners on their sides, line it all up inside the opening, and uh, yeah, I'll be able to um, put these in the hole. Let's do it. Righto, so drawers are all mounted up, they're done. All we've got left to do is to cut some more board up and do the face panels and the handles for all the drawers. So yeah, let's do it. Feel a bit fancy now that I've got um, soft clothes runners in the shed, but anyway. Righto, so the way I'm gonna start these drawer fronts was I pretty much cut a panel that'll cover the whole lot. So that'll fit on like that and then all I do is mark out where I want the split for the drawer and the thickness of the saw blade will actually work out perfect for the gap that I want in between each drawer front. So yeah, I figured that's probably the easiest way to sort of do it. Righto, so pretty happy with the drawers now. So now they're all done, I can get stuck into the easy side. So I have picked up a few more of those organizer toolboxes, these guys. So I'm just gonna make a separate like unit that'll slide straight in underneath the workbench on this side. It'll be kind of just like a open shelf pigeonhole type thing. So the idea is these will just be able to slide in and out so I can get them easy enough. Um, yeah, not too much else to say about that, so let's just get into it. Righto, so now yeah, that bit's done. Next thing I'm gonna do is actually just put some doors on the uh, front face of the uh, 
this section so um, I don't get heaps of dust coming in through here. And uh, yeah, just make it look a bit neater as well. So uh, yeah, have a look at what I've got to do that. Right, so I picked up a few goodies. All right, so I've got a couple sets of door hinges. So these are concealed door hinges. They both open up to, ah, they both up and open up to a different angle because that's what I wanted. Anyway, doesn't matter. So I've got a 110 degree opening angle and 107. So I'm, I don't think I'll notice that anyway. But, so I've got those. Now to install these, They've got a little section that goes onto the door that needs to be uh, actually countersunk down a bit. So I've picked up a boring drill bit. So I need to drill a 35 mil hole onto the doors where that part of the hinge fixes onto. So that'll make sense once I'll start doing it. And uh, yeah, just picked up a couple of handles. So yeah, let's do it. So here I'm just installing a fixing plate just so I've got something for the hinges to fix to so it's a bit offset from those posts just allows the door to open a bit more. Right, oh, so I've got the doors hung. I've only put one screw on each hinge for fixing back to the unit itself because I'll show you why. So if I close one side and then the other side, it's hitting it. So I've got to adjust the hinges. So there's a little bit of adjustment in the hinge itself. So I'll be able to pull this back, lift up, you know, all that sort of stuff. So I'll just do that, get them looking mint. And uh, yeah, then should be ready to roll. I'll just show you how you adjust those. So pretty much you've got couple of screws here which adjust the door tilting you know sort of horizontally and then you've got a little bit of adjustment up and down with the hinges so if you need to bring the door up you just back off these screws and then lift the door up a bit so yeah I'll just uh, adjust these and make them align and it should be good. Right, oh, so now they're all lined up just bang the handles on. So what I'll do is I'll just um, mark a hole, the starting hole for each of the top ones. And then I'll just make sure that this is uh, level both sides or else I might just make a little jig with the two holes in it, drill them in and then pop this on. So yeah, nothing too fancy. Had to put a divider in the top drawer, can't go without it. Righty -o. so we're done. Finally got something decent to work on. No longer using that flimsy little picnic table. So that brings us to the end of this episode. But before I leave you with the grand finale reveal, I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank all those subscribers and those who are about to subscribe because they really enjoyed this video. Uh, but serious, appreciate the uh, everyone who's uh, hit the subscribe button. Um, but yeah, be sure to hit the uh, like button on this video. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think or if you've got any ideas on uh, what I should have a crack at next. But anyway, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Till then, keep having a crack. Cheers.